Hello, I'm Ms. Julia at Addison Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own do-it-yourself cardboard castle. In your kit, you will find instructions, so please be sure to look through the instructions. They'll have photos also, but um, this video is also to help you with creating your masterpiece. You will receive a box, and these are repurposed boxes, so they are all a little different, different sizes. And so I'm I will try to match the sizes of some of the other parts to go more with the size of the box. But let's talk first in general about castles and what is it? What are the features of a castle that we want to that we want to have in our castle. So I use this die cut of a castle just to show you the basic outline. And castles have walls and towers. And in particular, we're going to be using, the walls will be represented with boxes and then the towers with these paper tubes, both toilet paper tubes and uh, paper towel tubes. You can see that the tubes or th that become towers also have roofs on them. So I'll talk to you about how to do that. If you want to make your, your walls taller than your boxes, you can do that by adding pieces of cardboard and gluing them in. Uh, you will also be provided with paint, which is something um, you will be able to add on your castle if you feel that you want it to be the gray color. I'm giving you um, a container of paint so that you can do that also. Some of the towers have been um, pre-painted. Pre so starting with the box, I'm going to tell you about how to make towers. And here's my box and in order to cut the tower, the cu cut the tube, to fit onto the corner of the box to become a tower, I need to mark a little bit with pencil right there and hold it also on the other side. And then I need to mark the width, so how high to cut that so that I know how high it goes without going too high. And then here's the other side. So up to the height of it. So there you can see I have two marks in pencil and that's what I'm going to cut out. And I do two cuts really close to each other. You see? They're really very small but that allows the width of the box. So you will have these paper tubes which you can then cut. So there are two cuts into this paper tube and watch. I will place it like this and it fits there, see, and creates the tower. So I have more of these that I've created that are already pre-cut and I'm placing them in the four corners of my box. If you want to have a larger castle, you can get another box. You could create a bigger castle even that has maybe two more towers, just as you like. You can add to that. So then the roofs of the castle, they need their, they need to be created. And look, here is an example of a roof. I'm going to place it over here on my tower. And I'll show you how we make those. So you will receive these blue pieces of paper that are circles. And then you want to cut first straight to the very middle, just the middle, don't go past. And then you want to take a pie wedge out that allows you to create the three-dimensional effect of a cone, because this is called a cone. So now I have, uh, I have this opening, and then I just put it together so that there's an overlap of the papers, and I get my glue stick, or glue, and then I put them together like this, like so, right there. There you go. Now, if it's not holding on well enough, get a paper clip, attach the paper clip, and then it will let leave it to dry for, you know, 10-15 minutes, and then you can put your tower on and have their roofs on them. And then we'll t let's talk about the inside of the castle where the people live. 
Um, inside the castle, if you, if you would like, um, you can add the places where people live inside the castle. So the main building inside of a castle where the Lord lives with his family is called the keep. And that often has a banquet hall. So depending on the size of your box, you might, if you have a bigger box, you might receive um, the, uh, an empty um, tissue box to use as the keep. And also uh, smaller ones. Here are some examples of boxes that you'll receive that you can consider buildings inside. Also, everyone will get one of these cutouts in gray cardstock and it creates, by folding it on the edges here, I'll show you, you can create a little building like this. And then I'll show you how to do the, the, um, the roof on it. So I'm, I'm folding at all the perforations on this. So I'm folding all of these toward each other to create a cube. And there's the lid. There's the bottom. Folding in all of these sections here and the other side, folding in these sections. There we go. And the lid. There we go. So here we have you use your glue stick on these little edges. I put glue at, on all these small rectangular pieces. So I put glue on all these bits that I folded in. And then I attach to the pieces of paper to the sides. And then there's the top. And then, let me see. There we go. And we have a cube, which can be turned into a building. All right. So then I take a piece, a piece of blue paper. Let me see the correct thickness. And then I fold it in half for the roof. And then I fold the edges so that I can glue it on like this one is. So now here we have a roof. There's a very steep roof, steeper than the other one. I put glue sticks on the short part pieces, glue right here on the short pieces. There you go. And attach right here to the cube. Like so. And push it down, push the glue side down. Here we go. There. And now we have two buildings for our castle. You can place them as you like in the castle. We want to talk about more things we can put in the castle to make it more interesting for playing. So you have your castle with the four towers and you've made the roofs for the four towers and you'll also find in your kit a piece of foam and you can cut it like I have done as you can see I've cut it to fit the box and I've also cut the corners a bit so that the tower that they fit around the tower so I'm going to put that inside the box like this so here's the castle with the, the foam that represents grass and then you can put your uh, buildings inside like we created and then we need before we talk about one more thing we need the people so if you have some toys such as lego minifigures or other small toys that are like figurines you can use those for the castle and uh, you can also if you don't have that you can take uh, pieces of cardboard or pieces of cardstock and you can draw on them and put faces and clothing for, for characters for your castle. Next thing I want to talk about is something that often 
can, can sometimes accompany a castle. So I want to talk to you about something called a round tower. So as you know, castles are for, for protection. And back in the Middle Ages, uh, in the medieval time, uh, there were religious groups that lived in communities and sometimes they were attacked by groups such as the Vikings who came from across the, the sea or the ocean. And so they needed to have protection similar to a castle for their monasteries. And so they would build stone walls and towers, and you can see some of these uh, monasteries. Uh, Mont Saint Michel, off of France, is one of them on an island. It's very fascinating. A lot of people think it's a castle, but it's actually originally a monastery that looks like a castle. So in Ireland and England, they had something called round towers that they would build a little ways from the castle. So you will have a paper towel tube that can represent a round tower. And the round towers are also made of stones, individual stones with mortar between them as the walls and the towers in the castles are. But they are made as a big circular stone tower. And because it's for specifically for protection, the only protection it really has is its height, they would put the door in the entranceway would be about 12 to 14 feet up in the air and they could get to it by a ladder. So this whole bottom part would be stone and then inside if you if you visit one of these you go inside and there's a floor a circular floor in the inside and then more ladders that take you to the next level and sometimes there are five or six levels in these round towers very fascinating and they also have their roofs on the top like similar to the towers on the castle here so i think round towers are just fascinating and they sometimes are on a hill a bit of a hill away from the tower and one of some of the things that they that they preserve in these round towers might be the gold goblets and the most uh, precious things, anything with jewels, and also the the manuscripts of books that they would be saving from from being destroyed by by um, the groups that were attacking. So there is our round tower. All right, so. When, when you're, when, remember that you, if you would like, can use the paint that I'm going to put in the kit, the gray paint, to paint and allow it to dry your castle. Or if you're fine as it is, uh, you can go with the color it is. So I hope you'll enjoy making, making your do-it-yourself cardboard castle.